What's up, Code Reporters? Welcome back to my channel. I did a video on this a little bit earlier of how uh, Kim Porter's memoir was confirmed to be fake by the author himself, like in a very bizarre interview with Rolling Stone magazine, in which he said, listen, I cannot for certain verify the claims in this book. Um, if someone put a gun to my head, asked me if this was true, I'd say I don't know. Maybe at least 80% of it is true, but I'm not sure, right? It's real to me. And that's all that matters. Like it was this wild story. Go ahead and check out that video if you missed it. Well, now I got a screenshot from Kim Porter's children all collectively releasing a statement about the validity or lack thereof of the best selling fake memoir that was purported to have been written by her mom before her passing. And it featured a lot of bombshells and scandalous quote unquote information, or maybe I should say misinformation. Anyway, let's take a look at the statement uh, released by her children, shall we? It says, and I quote, you know what? Let me go out and pull it out on my phone here. We have seen so many hurtful and false rumors circulating about our parents, Kim Porter and Sean Combs' relationship, as well as about our mom's tragic passing, that we feel the need to speak out. Claims that our mom wrote a book are simply untrue. She did not. And anyone claiming to have a manuscript is misrepresenting themselves. Additionally, please understand that any so-called friend speaking on behalf of our mom or her family is not a friend. Mm. Nor do they have her best interests at heart. Our lives were shattered when we lost our mother. She was our world and nothing has been the same since she passed. While it has been incredibly difficult to reconcile how she could be taken from us too soon, the cause of her death has long been established. There was no foul play. Grief is a lifelong process, and we ask that everyone respect our request for peace as we continue to cope with her loss every day. We are deeply saddened that the world has made a spectacle of what has been the most tragic event of our lives. Our mother should be remembered for the beautiful, strong, kind, and loving woman she was. Her memory should not be tainted by horrific conspiracy theories. We ask that everyone please respect our mother, Kim Porter, and hold her legacy in high regard so that she may rest in peace. It's what she deserves. We love you and miss you, Mommy. Quincy, Christian, Jesse, and Delilah, all of whom are pictured here. So first of all, what the heck is up with this child's name, Christian? He's um, he's uh, the son on our right over here in the YFG shirt. Why the heck do they keep changing this his name? I always knew him as Christian. Then they started calling him King. Now in this official statement released by the children, he's signing off as Christian again. What, what, what is going on with your name, dude? Pick one and stick to it. I like Christian, okay? And I'm going to stick to Christian because that's his real name. Um, so I'm glad to see it back. But my God, has it been annoying trying to keep up with that in all of this coverage. Anyway, let's get back to the statement that they released, you guys. Listen, I'm very happy that they released this statement. I wish that they came out sooner. I know some of Kim Porter's friends came out sooner saying, guys, do not buy this book. It's fake. It's unauthorized. Like there is no memoir. There was no hard drive. Like this is a con man. But unfortunately, a lot of people have been so desperate for scandal, gossip, and all that sort of stuff that they ignored all of these warnings, bought it, and spent their time reaching, reading a bunch of fan fiction, <laughs> you know? Um, so better late than never that the children are now speaking out about it. But I'm disappointed and sad that they even have to. Like, why did someone see this tragedy that they're involved in, right? Their mom passed away. Now their dad, who is a monster, is about to potentially go away for life in prison. They're about to be orphans, essentially, right? And someone said, hmm, let me scratch my thin chin and figure out a way to cash in on this. Let me try to dream up some lies, you know, based off of rumors that have been going around online and pass it off as a memoir. I feel like it's one thing to claim that you're an insider with your own insider information, you know, like the blind items type stuff. But when you go and say that you were specifically given this information so that you can go create your, your self-published Canva novel and sell it to the masses. Like that is crazy. And I'm sorry, but the fact that people actually fell for this is still so crazy to me. Like, oh my God, <laughs> media literacy needs to be, um, you know, 
a course in school and perhaps, you know, should be taught to some people retroactively. But I digress. Anyway, there you go, guys, an official statement. So that makes Kimora Lee Simmons, who has spoken out about this, three of Kim Porter's friends, and now her children are speaking out publicly against this book as well. Okay, you guys, um, once again, um, I said this in my prior video, but I'm going to say this here again. If you bought this fraudulent book, then go ahead and see if you can get your money back because you are essentially lied to. The book claims to be, you know, from the source, Kim's lost words, but that is not true. It's someone looking to make a buck off of her death and uh, the pain and grief of her children and to capitalize on all of the drama scandal surrounding Sean P. Diddy Combs. Now, uh, the guy, his name is uh, Christopher Thomas or something like that, but he writes under the name Jamal T. Millwood, which is what people were claiming was Tupac's name. You remember there's people who live on this conspiracy side of the world where they believe that Tupac is actually alive and he's going by a different name. That's the different name. So he uses this fake Tupac name, you know, um, conspiracy theory stuff. And he says that it's for Kim A. Porter, like on behalf of, but he can't even like say that it's real, right? He says, oh, I can't even say for sure that it's, you know, truthful. Her kids have spoken out, her best friends have spoken out. So case closed. The guy, he scammed, he played people. And I do believe that he is going to be sued. Quincy's father, for example, Al B. Shore, has already threatened a lawsuit. He says that that is um, in the works. And I'm pretty sure that other people are going to come forward. Perhaps even Kim Porter's own children are going to sue him because that book sold a lot of copies. It made a lot of money. And it's number one in the bestsellers for like memoirs. So come on, kids, go get yourself uh, some of that coin. But listen, they've already got so much on their plate right now with the Diddy facing like major, major, major criminal charges, like potentially life in prison. Um, Christian Combs also has his own civil lawsuit going on. He has been accused of S.A. Um, so maybe they're going to take their time. You know, I, I don't expect them to file a lawsuit this year, perhaps. That's something that's going to come out next year. I don't know. Um, but don't count them out just yet. I do think that once all the dust settles with all of the uh, P. Diddy like nonsense, they're going to be able to turn their attention over to this. So anyway, guys, let me know how you feel about uh, Kim Porter's kids speaking out against the fraudulent book that has been written in her name. Are you happy to see them come forward? Do you think that that's going to help deter uh, more people from falling for this scam, let me know why or why not in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more updates about what's been going on in this entire Sean P. Diddy Combs saga. I've been doing my best to stay up to date for you guys with wall to wall updates and information. Listen, I can hardly even speak anymore because I have been blabbing forever about this case. Um, that's all for now, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.